all right guys welcome to another video today we are going to be tuning the corvair i have nice weather today dry roads so we are going to be driving today and uh i already kind of drove around a little bit but um anyways first thing we are going to do we're going to take out the spark plugs and just check them make sure they look good and i did want to mention that we are going to be using some nice test equipment today so that's going to be fun Alright, so this side look good, and uh, I want to go ahead and put them back in. One thing I want to mention, I'm going to be putting some anti-seize on these, on the threads, because these are aluminum threads, and I heard that you're supposed to put some anti-seize on them. So, I'm just going to go ahead and put just a little bit on the bottom threads right there, and that should be good. And just a quick check on the chokes when it's fully closed. This rod should just slide in as so. All right, so spark plugs are back in. Tighten them up just cute, you know, not too tight. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and adjust that one right there, tighten it up just a bit, and then start it up, let it warm up, and then we're gonna go ahead and take a look at timing and uh, RPM, dwell, you know, all that stuff. <laughs> Alright, I'll let it sit for about maybe a minute or two. Alright, so our RPM and drive should be about 500. So we're gonna check with the uh, the dwell meter I got, make sure it's in 500 our drive, and then I believe the timing light that I have also checks RPM, so we're gonna double check with that. Alright, so I've got my dwell meter connected. That's four cylinder, six cylinder, eight cylinder, so six cylinder, and set at low RPM. And it is reading, you know, close to 12,000. So, I wanna go, I'm not, not exactly sure if this is reading correctly. You know, bought it off eBay, who knows. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that nice timing light I got. I did have a Harbor Freight one, but uh, that one, you know, it's a Harbor Freight one. I didn't really trust it, so. Luckily my shop foreman let me borrow it. Thank you to him. But uh, I'll go ahead and disconnect the vacuum advance and hook up the timing. When you line. have this hose disconnected, you gotta plug it off. I think this is the perfect place to plug it right here. Boom, look at that. Okay, so light is hooked up. Uh, I wanna figure out how to use this. So I'm not sure if you can see that. But our timing mark is coming in right next to that bolt. Why it's so far off, but uh, my other timing light was also reading right there, so I'm not sure what the problem is. All right, so I've got the distributor loose, so I'm gonna try to adjust it to get that mark there. Um, I'm gonna need both hands for that, or I might try to prop up the camera here. Oh, perfect! All right. So 
as you saw there, the closer the mark got, it was about here before, the closer the mark got to the actual, where it's supposed to be reading in between, uh, the worse the engine ran, so, I'm not sure if maybe this is installed wrong, or, you know, but, geez, I'm not sure what I'm going to do now. Okay, so, what I've done now, I had the timing super advanced, um, but you can see down here, the timing mark right there, that was way down there, and I had the idle speed screw set too high, uh, that's what the guys on the forum said at least, so, right now I've adjusted this, and I've lowered the idle speed screws down, and so now you can see, before I, it would stall out about here, but now we're idling good, and we're idling at about, uh, you know, right around a thousand RPM. So now what I want to do is uh, just double check what we need to have this set at and adjust. So it looks like we're at just above 16. So I want to go ahead and record the time in a bit. Okay, it's a little too low. Alright, let me go ahead and reset. Alright, so I've got it just about where it looks like it needs to be. Let's put a mark right there. All right, so in summary, I could not get the carbs to idle. Uh, they would only run off the fast idle cam. That, mean, that means that the, th the throttle blades were open enough to where it was bypassing the idle circuit. And so that's why it would only run there. And then once it warmed up and it went off the fast idle cam, it wouldn't run off the idle circuit because it was clogged. And basically the whole time this this car's been running, I've had the, mixture, or the, the idle speed screws turned up to where it just basically bypassed the idle circuit the whole time and so uh yeah i realize that now that's why it was also not wanting to work with the timing that we had it that we we're setting it at but uh basically what i've done now well before that i had taken the carbs i was like recording a bunch of videos of me taking the carbs off cleaning them i did that like five times it didn't make a difference but i got like a little wire brush went ran it through all the passages but uh, I'm guessing there's some passages that I just can't get to. But I talked to a guy on the forum. He told me to take these mixture screws out on both sides, spray some carb cleaner in there, and uh, just melt any, you know, gunk that's in there. I also sprayed some starting fluid in there because I heard that helps melt the stuff up too. But um, yeah, I sprayed a bunch of this in last night. Yesterday, it was actually running, it was actually idling. I have a video of that, but um, then I drove it around the block a little bit, and then it stopped working, kind of, so I just sprayed a bunch in there last night, and I'm about to start it up right now, so we'll see. Already pumped the gas, just one pump. Okay, another pump. Another. That was kind of weird. All right, but there it goes, it's on. All right, so we're just gonna sit here, wait for it to idle down. So I got it back to idle. You can see right there, we are off the fast idle cam. It's been spraying a bit of cleaner on both sides. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and let this, uh, well, I mean, it, it is already warmed up. But I'm gonna go ahead and play around with the mixture screws, 
see if I can get this to smooth out a bit. go ahead and turn these mixture screws out until I actually turn them out maybe like more than a full turn on both sides and it actually you know it sounded like it was idling better and I just threw it in drive right now and yesterday I had it in drive and it sounded like it was struggling and everything and but now this sounds really really smooth And I was talking to the, the guy that's been helping me. I was telling him it was running kind of rough and drive and he said that it might be lean. So basically what I did was riching it up. Now I do hear these sucking in air just about the same amount. Before I used to only hear it pretty good on one side. And okay, let's, let's go ahead and pop this on there. Might be able to go up just a bit. Yeah, just a bit. Uh, what I'm gonna go ahead and do, shut it off, disconnect one of these linkages and then adjust it so they're working independently. So I'm just gonna recheck if we disconnected that linkage right there. Okay, that one actually went up higher. So I might need to mechanically resync the carbs. Or maybe it just wasn't down all the way. Right. Maybe not. Alright. better to me. Alright. Alright, so it is a couple days after the last part of the video was filmed. Uh, one thing, I put some mineral oil on this dash and it made it look really good like there was a bunch of faded spots where it like looked white and now it just looks great and it's not even oily so quick cheap fix but um let's go ahead and start it up yeah um so i've got the engine running i'd say pretty good now um doesn't stall anymore because we cleaned the idle circuit Pretty sure it'll even, yeah, it'll go and drive right now, reverse. Oops, almost went, almost backed up too much. So it is idling high right now because it, I just started it up on the fast idle cam. There, it went down a bit. But one thing I did notice, the vacuum advance is uh, active when it's on the fast idle cam. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be doing that. But you can see right there. 
gonna go ahead and leave it connected for now. But uh, once it gets off the fast idle cam, it runs good. And uh, we're just gonna double check timing once it's uh, once it's all warmed up. Okay, so now we're at idle, and you can see uh, no difference right there. It doesn't get sucked in. So I'm gonna go ahead and hook up the timing light, and we're gonna recheck. Okay, so you can see we got our timing mark right there. show up on camera very well but we are good and we're in the upper 800s so that's good too so hopefully this video was helpful and uh, if your Corvair is only running off of your fast idle cam it might be worth a shot to uh, well first obviously clean rebuild the carburetor as best as you can and if even that doesn't work Take out those screws in there, the little mixture screws, and spray some cleaner down there. Do that a couple times until it starts working, and if not, then maybe you need some new carbs. But luckily, I did not need any new carbs. So, uh, yeah, really happy with this now. Uh, it even fixed the problem of uh, it dying in gear, so that's great. And uh, next video, we're going to be diving more into... the transmission. So, stay tuned.